In this video, we're going to give you the release date for the Tombs of the Fallen in Assassin's Creed Valhalla patch 1.4.0 and also the Oscoria Festival. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where we give you the secrets to crush Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So Valhalla, their official Twitter account, the at Assassin's Creed, tweeted out this schedule and it puts uh, the title update on Tuesday, November 9th, and we should be able to play the Tombs of the Fallen, which uh, everybody's been who has a PlayStation has been seeing the trophies for. So we'll get at least three Tombs of the Fallen there because there's a three Tombs of the Fallen trophy, and then. Uh, for a free limited time event will be the Ascoria Festival from November 11th through December 2nd. And then on December uh, 2021, there'll be 1.4.1 and we get a picture of the Longhouse in Ravensthorpe. So that indicates to me that we're probably not going to get a uh, paid DLC this year. And I want to thank uh, Jor Raptor for pointing out this in the earnings report which i just totally missed was that ubisoft came out with a title release schedule and that title release schedule had a lot of dlcs a lot of paid expansions in it and none of them were valhalla for q uh for october November, December of 2021. And the executives, when I went through the earnings call and told you about that in an earlier video, the executives said definitely it's going to come either October, November, December, January 2022, February 2022, or March 2022. And so that means that the dawn of Ragnarok is going to come not in December or November, but it's going to come in either January, February, or March. Now, I'm really hopeful that it's going to come out in January because, you know, we've got Horizon Forbidden West, we've got Elden Ring coming out, and I think a lot of the people that play Valhalla are going to want to play those things too so if they push it to february that's really tight uh if it comes out in january i think it could do pretty well i personally think that they should you know release it in they should announce it in december so people can like get that as like a christmas gift or something that season pass i i'm 90 percent sure that it's gonna be paid the next season so the the executives at Ubisoft in their most recent earnings call definitely said that the Dawn of Ragnarok DLC, or they didn't they didn't mention the Dawn of Ragnarok DLC, but they said that there will be paid content for Valhalla in 2022. And so if they're going to have paid content, it's going to be one of those expansions. So the 1.4.0 is free content, Tombs of the Fallen is free, the Scoria Festival is going to be free. We may get some other free uh, expansions like the Discovery Tour and the Mastery Challenges, etc. before the end of December. But it looks like January, February, or March is when we're probably going to have to pony up some money if you want to play the Muspelheim expansion in the Dawn of Ragnarok that has been leaked by the YouTuber Jonathan or, or Andy Reloads and his buddy petter subscribe to the Linus wilson channel where we give you the secrets to <laughs> crush assassin's creed valhalla happy playing starting on tuesday november 9th the tombs of the fallen